This week on Espressos with Entrepreneurs, we're going to take a field trip to the international headquarters of Reverb Coffee Company. Hooray! So Jeremy, what are you going to be showing us at Reverb's International Roasting Headquarters today? I'm going to walk you guys through the roasting process, show you every step along the way, or most of the ones. Uh, going to tell you what I'm doing before I do it because it gets really loud once the roaster's going. So we'll parse in some clips here and there and hopefully you'll learn a thing or two about roasting coffee, but not too much as to take me out of business. Ah, trade <laughs> secrets. Yeah. All right. Well, enjoy. Well, welcome to the roastery, where the magic happens at Reverb Coffee Company. Um, I'm gonna walk you through what I do on a normal day of work. Um, so I'm gonna kind of do a dry run because it gets really loud in here once I turn this this big bad boy on. So um, I'll walk you through the process. So it all starts with green beans. I'm gonna dump them in here. Pull this little lever right here. Green beans go down into this big drum. So I close this and keep the heat in there. There's a drum in there that rotates the beans around so they get nice and toasty in there. A normal roast takes about 15-20 minutes depending on what I'm going for, sometimes 12 if it's a really light roast. Um, so once it gets to the point where I'm about to take it out of the roaster, this is uh, what I call a trier, or what is called a trier. I don't just call it, everybody calls it that. So I can um, pull beans out of the roaster and it'll give me you know five or six beans so I can see the precise color of the beans so I know when exactly I need to pull it out and then over here I have two different thermometers I read off of to make sure that both the thermometer that measures the beans and then the outside temperature as well so I need to make sure both of those are going at the right time have my little trusty timer right here make sure it's all happening at the right time so when the moment happens, I got to turn my little sweeper on and I got to turn a fan on under here. I'll turn those off for now, but as soon as those are on, pull this up and the beans will come flying out and that's about it. They'll cool for a little while. Then I'll open this little thing and empty them out into my containers. Then they come right to you. So I wanted to show you the difference between unroasted and roasted coffee. So I have an example of the same bean right here. Um, this is my Sumatra roast. Right here is the unroasted coffee. So you can see it's a dark green color. The beans are really small. Um, so through the roasting process, the beans are gonna expand and crack and release gases and they get bigger. Um, so you can see the difference in size here. I'll pull a couple aside and just see how much bigger they get through the roasting process. I think it's cool for people to see the process and see the difference between an unroasted and roasted coffee. Most of the time, you know, before I got into this business, I just thought coffee ended up in my cup. But, you know, going through the process really makes you appreciate the product and the final, fi final taste. Hopefully you'll enjoy your coffee more now that you know how it gets into your cup. All right, so we hope you enjoyed that little tour of Jeremy's Secret Reverb Lab. And, um, you know, keep on subscribing because, you know, you know you want to if you haven't yet. Like the video, share it with your friends, get on Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll see you next week. And don't take yourself too seriously.